Hi everyone, so I want to show you this card, which is actually a lot of years in the making. Um, I actually made this back in 2017, about then, and I filmed it and went to upload it and the video was corrupted and I thought I'd lost it. And then the other day, I literally came across it, randomly, in Google Photos, in a random Google account, I found it. So there you go. So I thought I would have a go at making it. So this is what it looks like when it's like that, and obviously it folds flat to fit in a 5x7 card, uh, envelope even, and it stands up nicely on your desk. I think my original one had a few more pieces to it, but it was quite heavy, my original pit, my original card. So I've just kind of slimmed it down a bit, made it make a bit more sense, um, and there's so much you could do with this. So you could actually, you know, you could have some on the front like I have, or you could have the main thing on the back and then have the greeting on the front. There's, you could create scenes with it. There's all sorts of things you could do. So it's quite a nifty little um, card. So the papers that I've used for this card is my Scandi Christmas um, digital paper pack. And today for the card that I'm actually gonna make, I'm gonna be using Dovecraft Winter Wonderland papers. So let's get into it. Okay, so for this card, you're gonna need um, two pieces we'll start with a piece we need to score two pieces that are five and a half by seven and these on the five and a half inch length you're just going to score at one and a quarter two and a half three and three quarters and five now i'm using quite a thick card here and i'm not sure how it's going to turn out i think it might be a bit bulky the card I originally used was about uh, 200 to 200, 240 maybe, and it came out quite nicely. So this is going to be a bit of a test because it might be a bit too thick. OK, so that's those two pieces done. And then the only bit, the other bit of scoring we need to do is you need one piece that is one inch by seven. Now, if you want to make it less than seven, you can. Sorry, less than one inch high or more than one inch high, you can. But I thought one was probably about right, because otherwise you're going to get in the way of your nice frilly bits. So on this, you're just going to score at one inches and six inches. You might need to just trim a little bit off either side. You'll see why in a minute. Um, but if you do, we can, you know, it's, it's easily done. You can just trim that off. OK, so if we take ourselves a metal ruler and a craft knife of some description um, and obviously a cutting mat, what you're going to do is where you're so i've got my tab on the left and then my th four sections on the right hand side so along this bottom here we're just going to measure up an inch and make a little mark and then we're going to cut from the top of that tab score line down to um that mark there that we've just done So you're left with this. This is obviously the top piece. Now, I have got a card that you can make using these leftover pieces. So that will be a separate video. So stay tuned for that. So don't necessarily throw these away because there will be a tutorial coming for this because you can use these and make another card. So for now, I'm just going to put that to one side. I'm going to bring the other piece in. Now, this one here, you want to turn it so that your tab is the other way around. So your tab's on the right hand side this time. And again, you're going to cut from the top there to an inch up here. So I'm just going to measure up this side an inch. And it is very important that you make sure you put your tabs um, in the middle and that they are opposite ways around. OK, so that's that way around. So then I'm going to do the same here. I'm just going to, I'm going to turn it around because I need to be able to get to it. So I'm going to go from that mark to the top of my tab score line. And again, keep that piece if you want to make a card out of it, because that will be coming soon. Um, and then you should be left with that. So that is all of the cutting that we need to do. OK, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and fold our score lines. So starting over here, this is going to be a mountain, valley, mountain, valley. And you can do the same with this one. So mountain, valley, mountain, valley. So that's what you should end up with. So you want to do exactly the same on the other piece. So you should end up with two pieces that look like that. So now you're going to bring in two pieces of base card that are five by seven. Now, if you want, you can only use one, 
but the reason why I have two is because one's going to go there and the other piece is going to go behind to hide this tab on the back so what we want to do is we're going to take our um our piece and you can either use wet glue or you can use red tape I'm going to go for wet glue um but you can use either anything that's strong is what you want so we're going to put some um glue onto this tab here and then we're going to bring our five by seven piece in and we're just going to stick it down like that so that the tab goes behind and you just want to make sure that when you stick it you can fold it kind of down as it will be in the envelope and then we're going to do the same on this side so i'm just going to put some glue on the inside of that tab and then do exactly the same but just the other way around stick it down on the other side of the five by seven okay so you should end up with that which is like the base of your card and then all you want to do on the back here is just stick your other five by seven and that's just going to go on the back now obviously this does make it more bulky but it also does make it neat so i'm going to go ahead and stick that down okay so that's stuck down on the back so then we're going to start decorating now i haven't gone with any mats because as i said it's quite a thick card and i don't think you need it um it just makes it really chunky when i did this card originally i did put mats on and i have to say it did make it very chunky indeed so you are going to need let me just get all my little pieces out you are going to need and again you can decorate this as much or as little as you want so you're going to need one pattern piece that is four and three quarter by six and three quarter and that's going to go on the inside there you also need a white piece the same size it's four and three quarter by six and three quarter which is going to go on the back which will be where you write your message i'm just going to stick this pattern piece down for now and then we'll head into the other pieces okay so next up you need some strips you're going to need quite a few and these are going to be an inch wide the first one, well, the first two are six and five eighths um, tall. And what you want to do is measure one and a quarter down one side on both of them. You're going to draw a line and then cut that triangle off and they will fit here. So as you can see, I've done the one and a quarter inch down the side and I've done it on both like on the opposite sides because you're going to have one of them, which is going to go here and the other one's going to go there. Just double check that your borders are OK. Make sure that it's OK before you cut them. Just sort of line it up. Mine's OK. If you end up with a bit of a wonky, like you've got too much of a border, then put it at the bottom rather than at the top because the top's going to be most visible. So I'm going to go ahead now and stick these two down. Next up, you're going to need two strips that are one inch by five and one eighth. And again, you can do the same again. You just um, turn them over and again on two, two sides, just measure down one and a quarter and then cut your line again. Just make sure again it's opposite sides. And then what you can do is these are going to be stuck. So if you concertina, so you're not going to stick them here. You're going to stick them on here. OK, just make sure if you want to decorate here, you can as well. But these are going to go on there like that and on there like that. And then you're also going to need two pieces that are three and a half by three and a half. And we're going to do exactly the same thing again measure down one and a quarter one and a quarter draw a line cut and then these are going to stick on here so each time you just need to keep concertinaing up your concertina fold it shut and then stick them down And then last but not least, you need two pieces that are one inch by two and one eighth. And again, we do the same again, and they're going to go on those very front pieces there.
Now if you wanted to, you could just stop there and not do the bridge bit on the front, but I quite like the fact that the bridge bit kind of holds it in place. So you've got your piece that was one by seven. We're going to fold along that line. And then this line here, we are going to fold along, but what you want to do is you're going to wrap this around there like that. It's not going to stick here. It's going to stick at the back there. So you just want to make sure that when you've got it wrapped around and folded, the whole thing lies flat. I don't know if you can see on mine, you see how mine doesn't quite fold flat. So for that reason, I'm going to make another score line just next to that, about an an eighth of an inch over and then that will hopefully account for that extra bulk. Yeah that extra inch just helped just to get it in so if you want to you might want to just um, score at uh, one inch and six and one eighth instead of one and six um, and so what you want to do on the front of there you're going to need a piece of pattern paper that's three quarters of an inch by four and three quarters and that's going to go on the front there. And what we're going to do is we're going to turn this over and on here you want to put either red tape or a strong wet glue. I'm going to use a wet glue and you're just going to put some glue onto that tab and then you're going to stick it behind this tab here making sure that score line lines up with the cut edge of your frill. So it'll look like that and then we're going to do the same on the other side. So on the back of here I'm just going to put some wet glue. Then I'm going to take my strip, fold it over and wrap that behind that bit there and just fold it all flat and stick it down. So then I'm going to do this the other way around. So before on the original I had my cut out bit on the front and the greeting on the back but on this one I'm going to do the way around so I'm going to put the, the cut out bit on the on the back and the greeting is going to be just on the front like that so I'm going to go ahead now and stick that down I'm going to use pads to stick this down with and so there's your finished card now I actually end up using silicone glue in the end which isn't quite dry but you get to see how it looks so yeah, so that's the card for today. So I hope you liked it. Please go and check out drkcrafts.co.uk. Also, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you never miss a video and share it as well. And I'll see you again next time. Bye.